Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's word to you now. This is a new week, praise God. Listen, God is doing exciting and amazing things in our life. If you are a child of God, get ready for a shift because God is doing an amazing work in our life this year. He told us this month is the month of remembrance now god is remembering you remembering the good things you have done remembering his word that he has spoken concerning you praise god so expect miracles throughout this month just just expect surprises praise god all right are you ready for us to call for that daily bread now join me right now as we declare say father thank you I receive my daily bread today. I receive it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Jesus said we should pray that prayer. So when we pray that, we are releasing faith. Because Jesus spoke. Now he said it in scriptures. And then he commanded me also that we on this broadcast should pray this prayer every day. Praise God. So, so expect a miracle. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's go into today's broadcast. Father, we honor you. Thank you for the things that you are bringing forth. Thank you because by your word, you are making us intelligent in your ways. And by that, we become smart and smart and smart even in this world. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for you are fulfilling what Jesus said about you, that you will guide us into all truth. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I declare right now, burdens are lifted, yokes are destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Now, we've been talking about walking in spiritual, financial intelligence. Praise God. And it's been so exciting. And then thank you for all the feedbacks. Thank you for all the testimonies you've been sharing. You know, how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. We appreciate those feedbacks. We really do appreciate it. And also, if you've not join our youtube channel i invite you to subscribe to our youtube channel and put on the notification button especially praise god and so whenever the broadcast comes you know some of you get this broadcast through people who forward it you know to you on a daily basis now call them partners so you do the same thing forward to your contacts let let this word just go everywhere <laughs> praise god so that god's children will have an understanding of what they are doing and begin to truly participate in the divine nature that's what it means thank you precious lord jesus oh hallelujah turn your bibles with me to second corinthians second corinthians chapter 9 now, I've been talking to you lately, last um, Thursday and Friday last week, about tithing and how God's intention it was concerning the tithe to bless every family of the earth. God is very intentional in everything he does. He doesn't just give commands out of the blues. He doesn't give commands because he's responding to our emotions. No, he gives commands that are eternal and they are connected to bringing to pass his word and promise which he has spoken from the beginning. See that? So don't think God will just tell you something and it's for you. <laughs> you know, like, like I'll share with you on Thursday or so, that God promised Abraham something. 
And God says, through you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. And it is God's job to put the groundwork for that to be fulfilled. And that's why God commanded concerning Titan. Many people don't know this. All you think is the pastor wants to collect my money. The church wants to collect my money. Even the good ones feel, oh, Titan is so that the church can have money to do the things they need to do. And uh, simply put, the tithe belongs to God. Understand this. It's not your own. It's not the church. It doesn't belong to the church. There is nowhere the Bible said the tithe belongs to the church. See? So, now, you know, oh, the Bible said, bring all the tithe into the storehouse so that there will be meat in my house. Go study scriptures carefully and find out what he meant by storehouse and so what he meant by there will be food in my house now simply put the tithe belongs to god and god is not dumb he is not deaf we have a relationship with him today we are not practicing religion we are practicing a walking active relationship with one who is alive and well and active is God. So, so why are we arguing about the tithe? Why don't you simply ask him? You know, that's what I've been saying for many years. You know, it's funny enough, you know, when people begin to argue the Bible, argue scripture, why do we argue scriptures? You find two believers argue, no, this is not what it means. Why do we argue? Why can't we pray? And ask the one who spoke, Lord, what do you mean when you said this? And he will explain to us. But you see, because they don't believe enough that God can speak to them. They don't believe. You know, sometimes people think God just speaks to you out of his mercy. Out of, he, he only speaks to you. You, you. you don't even speak to him and expect him to speak to you. He speaks to you whatever he wants to tell you, whenever he wants to tell you. And that's sufficient for you. No, sir. We are in a relationship with him. Imagine a husband and wife. And then the husband only speaks to the wife when he wants to. See, the wife cannot have a conversation with the husband. The wife cannot get clarification from the husband. What kind of relationship is that? If your sister or your daughter is in that kind of relationship, won't you tell them to get out of that place? Yeah. So, so how then do you think Jesus said, if you, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your heavenly father. So if you know to treat your people around you right, how much more will God treat you right? So why are you afraid to ask him questions? Why are you afraid to go before him and say, Lord, talk to me concerning this? Why are you afraid to do that? That's what we ought to do as God's children. Praise God. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So I'm, I'm reading something to you because I was telling you last week, I said, with the tithe, this is the intention of God. How do you know that? Because God speaks to me. He told me. He taught me. The same way. Oh, no, bro. The same way he taught Abraham concerning the tithe. If, you know, that's, that's the, the point. If it is true that God taught Abraham concerning the tithe, then he can teach me concerning what he taught Abraham. See that now? You see that now? So it's the same thing. If you are getting, if this whole thing is getting confusing to you, no problem. Just go before the Lord and say, Lord, Pastor Tubo is sharing these things and I'm not quite sure or clear concerning them. Can you talk to me about it? Can you tell me the truth concerning this? That's what I did. And be patient. Be patient. As long as you are actively involved with the gospel, he will speak to you. I was already tithing before the Lord began to speak to me concerning tithe. I didn't hold back my tithe and say, oh, until I understand these things. I will know that's unbelief. See, I was already tithing, I was already giving. So what the Lord began to do, because he saw the sincerity of my heart in these things, what the Lord began to do was to straighten me out where these things are coming. So I will understand how it works. The more you do something, the more you want to understand how it works. And that's what God does to us. He teaches us how it works. Because he doesn't want us to walk in assumption. 
So I said 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 12. I wanted to read something here. It says, For the administration of this service, he was talking about giving in this place. Now I want to show you something. For the administration of this service not only supplied the want of the saints, but is abundant also by many things given unto God. So he is saying, when we give properly, when we give right, now Titan is one of the giving. He says, we are not only supplying the wants of the saints. Now we are doing that. Every giving supplies to the need of God's children. See that now? Every giving supplies to the need of God's children. But that's not the only thing it is doing. I want you to follow here. Then it says, but is abundant also in many things given unto God. So when we give, when we give properly, see? Now, now there is no better. Let me, let me just finish this up then I'll explain what I want to explain. It says, verse 13 says, whilst by the experiment of this ministration, they glorify God for your professed subjection unto the gospel of Christ. Did you understand that? Let me read this from the Amplified Bible now. Okay, let me read the Amplified Version now. It says, For the supply that the ministering of these funds renders, does not only, sorry, for the service that the ministry of these funds renders does not only fully supply what is lacking to the saints. Note, it fully supplies what is lacking in the saints. Note that. But that's not the only thing it is doing. But it also overflows in many cries of thanksgiving to God. So when you give like this, you know, remember I was telling you, you take your tithe. Now I'm dwelling on tithe. There's a reason I'm dwelling on tithe. I'll tell you why. You take your tithe before the Lord and say, Lord, I've got your money. So where do you want me to deploy this money? And then the Lord commands you, Oh, take it to that church over there. Take it to that pastor over there. Take it to that evangelist. You remember that evangelist you met last week? Yeah, send the money to him. Oh, you remember I was telling you a story yesterday how someone, you know, was talking to a dear sister about another man of God. See, that she has never met before. And the Lord spoke to her, says, I want you to send this tithe to that person. And she obeyed. And it met the need, fully met. You see, these things are happening to confirm the scriptures. This man of God was expecting, was believing God for 50,000 naira to buy a microphone. He has prized it. He wanted to deposit his phone for them to give him the phone, the microphone. But they said no. And then suddenly God commanded someone he didn't even know. He is a saint of God. God fully supplied the money for that mic that he needed that day. See that? But then also, what did he do? It cost him to lift up his voice to give thanks to the Lord. Now, now listen. If he hadn't needed that money so much that day like that, the thanksgiving, yeah, they, he would still give the oh, Lord, thank you. But you see, this, this kind of thanksgiving he's talking about is not just, oh, thank you, Lord. It's the type that you stop within your tracks and say, God, this is awesome. Praise God. Whoa, thank you, Jesus. Wow. That's the kind of thanksgiving he's talking about. Thank you, Jesus. He says, because, verse 13 now, because at your standing in the test of this ministry, they will glorify God for your loyalty and obedience to the gospel of Christ, which you confess, as well as your generous-hearted liberality 
took them and to all the other needy ones. Did you see that? And they yearn for you while they pray for you because of the surpassing measure of God's grace. Of God's grace, that's his, his favor, you know, Amplified put sins in bracket, his favor and mercy and spiritual blessing, which is shown forth in you. Then he says, now thanks be unto God, thanks be to God for these gifts, this precious, for this gift, precious beyond telling, his incredible, inex, indescri indescribable, inexpressible, free gift. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is what it does. So it's not just the giving that someone says thank you for. It goes beyond thank you. It goes into the expression of God's faith, of our faith in God because of what just happened. Many times, many times, when we receive money, we're like, whoa, you know, we begin to rejoice. Why, why do we rejoice? No, you see, listen, you, you can't get used to these things. You, you never get used to these things. I'll agree. And the Lord is multiplying this, this, this ministry in around his children. And he is causing their voice to be heard up high in heaven. And that brings about the multiplication of the blessing in every place. And Jesus is being glorified. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.